Hey guys, how many of you know Bruce Willis, the famous actor, one of my favorite actors? Uh, as you, many of us know, it is public knowledge now, he has uh, been diagnosed with a type of dementia, but not Alzheimer's. It's called frontotemporal dementia. What does it exactly do? So uh, the type that Bruce Willis has actually leads to significant difficulty with language and speech. So patients with this type of frontotemporal dementia have trouble finding words. They cannot speak well. I mean, simple words, names of simple animals. They cannot name them. And I had uh, a few patients of this nature uh, where they simply lose the ability to speak. And it's very frustrating for that patient, especially early on. Imagine waking up, not being able to speak very simple sentences to your wife, to your husband, to your uh, kids. And this condition, when it's early on, is very frustrating because you still have all your emotions. You still have all the other intellect semi-intact, but you're not able to speak well. It's kind of like having a stroke that affects the speech centers. In fact, frontotemporal dementia is named as such because it affects the temporal lobe, which is the area that is involved heavily with speech production, and of course, the prefrontal cortex. So, <clears throat> Another type of, another variant of frontal dementia is one that affects your behavior. These patients suddenly become very rude. They suddenly lose all their ethical and uh, norms of behavior. They crack the, you know, dirtiest jokes in a very formal meeting. And they start to hoard certain types of foods. They start to all of a sudden uh, eat like 10 pounds of chocolate in one hour. And uh, that also is categorized under frontal temporal dementia, where the prefrontal cortex is in fact damaged. So uh, many of you who know of uh, cases like Bruce Willis are probably wondering, well, what can you do about it? Uh, you know, in, in my field, it, it's, it's, it's kind of used to being known as uh, diagnose and adios, right? You diagnose, but you really can't offer any treatment. Well, that is changing very rapidly. Uh, in my world, the use of technology with brain stimulation strategies has in fact proven to be helpful in reversing some of these symptoms. Although still not a cure, we have seen here at my practice, here in this office, patients with frontal temporal dementia improving with brain stimulation. And what are we doing? We're stimulating those regions of the brain and in fact we're re-exciting neuronal activity, we're increasing blood flow to those regions, we're increasing actual synaptogenesis, meaning there's new form formation of new connections. And that, in my view, in my field, in my view, very, very groundbreaking. But uh, brain stimulation strategies are offering a significant change in how we are treating these conditions. And uh, I encourage you to learn more. Um, and uh, do not give up on these patients, uh, there are things that you could still do to help them.